Hello and greetings from Cambodia to San Francisco City Impact Church. My name is Josh Lovelace and along with my wife Carmen and our children Emma and Jude, we just want to say thank you so much for your prayers and support of our ministry here in Cambodia and Southeast Asia. We came to Cambodia in the year 2010 and since that time we've seen the Lord do many wonderful things primarily through the ministries of teaching and training the next generation of pastors and leaders. Um, as far as adjustment to the mission field, it definitely took some time through the first uh, year of learning the language, learning culture, but we're thankful that the Lord helped us in doing that and taking time to really apply ourselves to learn the Khmer language and with that also learning culture. Uh, but with that, after you go through the initial phases of culture shock, then you have culture stress of where you feel like you go up and down every few months. But we're thankful that God helps us through that, through those times and through those seasons. Uh, as far as when God really called us to Cambodia, for myself, uh, the Lord put missions in my heart as a calling when I was 19, for my wife Carmen when she was 14, and for her it was specifically to Cambodia. And then after we dated, uh, we just really believed that God was putting it in our hearts together to serve in Cambodia. And so we arrived here in 2010. And at that time, our daughter Emma was two. And then a few years later, Jude was born just next door in Thailand. So for our family, it just seems like uh, for our married life and for our children, missions has always been part of what we are and what we've been doing. Um, as far as some of the biggest obstacles that we face, um, Cambodia is definitely a Buddhist nation. Uh, about 94, 95% of the people uh, claim to be Buddhist or have that background. And generally in Cambodia, they have a saying, they say to be Cambodian is to be Buddhist. So for a person who's going to become a Christian, it really is a cultural change for them because most of them see Christianity as a Western religion. They call it like the foreign religion because they think it just comes from America. So whenever they make that identity, it really is a change in who they are because a lot of people don't see them as Cambodian or Khmer anymore. So that's really a challenge because they feel like if they become a Christian, they leave everything behind. But um, we've seen a lot of good response in the last few years with the young generation, the ones that are really searching and God is doing wonderful things in their hearts. Um, as far as some of the biggest triumphs, it would definitely be through working through the Bible School, uh, Cambodia Bible Institute of teaching and training the next generation. And we've seen God do amazing things as people are coming, being taught, prepared, going out, pastoring churches, planting new churches, and doing evangelism. So um, it's been exciting to see what God has done through that. But we just want to say thank you so much for your prayers, your support, and partnership as we serve in Cambodia. And we've seen God do great things, and we believe that the best is yet to come. So thank you so much, and God bless you.